Hey guys, so we're meant to do a video for this workout, but uh, I kind of just got caught up in the moment and hit three, two, one, go and completely forgot. So enjoy this montage, but we're going to do another video purely based on and around accessories. So I hope you enjoy and see you later. Especially after thrusters and handstand walk. So that actually felt really good. I was really happy with that. Um, handstands felt smooth and you know like transitions were I was happy with my transitions, you know. Took took rest where I needed to and then um, tried to make up for it in some of the um, cycling of like my reps for thrusters or even for muscle ups. Today I'm doing dumbbell bench press. Um, there's a combination of things here that I like to focus on. Today I'm actually focusing on more of the volume and so uh, I'm starting at 50 pounds and um, I'm going to be making sure that I'm focusing on stability, controlling the dumbbell down to the chest, making sure that I'm in a nice locked position, activating the lats and then pressing out and really just trying to um, have that stabilization through the shoulders. Um, and then also, you know, if it, when you're doing accessories and you're wanting to build strength, by all means do so. Do so. But, um, you know, think about reps, maybe four to six reps whenever you're thinking of sets and um, increasing the load. Um, today though, we're just going to be focusing on um, more reps rather than the strength component. During like my dumbbell bench press, I like to change it up, you know, we'll do bench press with the barbell and either it be in a workout or even just a strength piece, but um, we really like doing the dumbbell bench press just because what it allows us to do is not just focus on stabilization, but it also we're able to turn our shoulder girdle and make sure that you know we can actually um, kind of like adjust our shoulder positioning when we come down and press out so I like to sometimes alternate between coming straight up going straight down to the shoulder, um, chest and then pressing all the way up and having that nice right angle when I'm in the bottom of that um, dumbbell press and then um, that way, you know, I'm keeping active in my lats and I'm trying to keep obviously my glutes, my feet flat on the ground and I'm able to press out. Some of them I also try and change it. So I'll twist, I'll pull my shoulders back, take the load off my traps and everything. I'm laying down and then I can really feel that my lats activate and I'll come down and I am a little lower rested on, uh, on my chest but I'm able to actually press out in a different position as well. And you know, you can't really do that with a barbell when it comes to just normal bench press. And so that's another way, um, or another reason why I enjoy doing um, dumbbell bench press. And I think that it's actually really good health for the shoulders as well. Well, I don't need the agitation. You keep making it worse And now we got a situation You always take the hard way 
at least mine's functional. Uh, when we had our own affiliate, we were literally like there was like this kind of storage space, and so you'd open the door and the dumbbells were right there. And we would literally open the doors, put the bench right there, and we would just be like, whoop, all right, and then doing the bench. And we had the littlest space and everything. We had the whole gym to do it. Uh, it's funny because we would train at the far side, generally not at the same time. We'd be on the other side of the gym. Whenever it's dumbbell bench press, we would even, if we could, we would put that bench right next to the dumbbells and sit it right there. All right, uh, so I hope I look massive. Um, Nah, just doing. But I just finished uh, my dumbbell bench press. Uh, last night I also did a really cool accessory piece where it had um, strict chest bars and also strict dips. Um, and you know, my triceps are a little um, fried this today. So basically I'm just going to finish off with 100 um, tricep extensions, just flushing the triceps and really getting that blood flow going. Um, you know, new blood actually really helps with recovery and so flushing those particular muscle groups will ho hopefully help me tomorrow when it comes to doing handstand push-ups or you know whatever I have um, uh, tomorrow so um, you know I hope that you enjoy my little piece I'm going to be putting in um, yesterday last night's accessory piece as well and uh, let us know what you think don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you on the next one You know, I think the worst thing is, and it's not even a bad thing, but what's hard is when you've been away for an extended period of time, or right now it's a perfect example, no one's seen each other for two months, and now it's just like a big catch up. And I was at the gym like the last three days for nine hours, and like, like, some of that was just purely because I was just chatting with someone and they would come in, do their workouts, chat to me, and then they'd go and then someone else would walk in the gym. And so, you know, it's actually really nice because at that time, like, you, you want to have those chats, you know, and you've, you've missed that person and you want to see how they're going and everything. But then, you know, if you are in the middle of training and you just like, kind of like want to get it done, Sometimes it is hard to, to kind of be like, hey, sorry, you know, if you don't mind, let's just chat after so that I can get my training done. Uh, but that, that doesn't really happen until it's like pretty close to the competitions. I think that's a good question. So I love accessories, because obviously you don't get the heart rate up, but they're time consuming. Because you want to make sure you're focusing on good form and doing it correctly. Um, you know, there's also a lot of bits and pieces. So, you know, it'll be a super set with this and this. And then you, we may have like three other movements to get through as well. So, I think it really comes down to the day. Because if it's a good Metcon and it's, you know, either nice and short or it's like long and slow, they're good. <laughs> But, I don't know, I really like accessories. They're just so beneficial. Making it worse. And now we got a situation. You always take the heart away.